coming week is like the art lover's dream i'm going to be hopping from you know stage play to exhibition to book events it's going to be like absolutely packed and that's exciting for me uh so to start with kemi aditiba who is looking really fabulous on the cover of the september edition of mania magazine will be signing autographs at the hub at the palm shopping mall this friday if you haven't yet read the september edition of mania you should pick it up but three pieces in it i've got an interview with bovin who is a crazy dude he's like really funny but also really really intelligent i reviewed asha's new album bed of stone oh my god i haven't stopped listening to that album since it came out I waited four years for her to release a new album and then when she released it again I, I to be honest I was scared that the album wasn't going to be like typical Asha but it was just it was amazing it is amazing I love it I'm still listening to it you know uh, so there's there's that and then there are all kinds of pieces about different personalities I mean this is why I love Mania magazine it's about more than fashion it's about more than style pick it up go for the autograph signing by Kemi Aditiba He's a fabulous video director, by the way. Uh, on Saturday, there's an exhibition, Itai. Now, this exhibition, I'm excited about it. I cannot wait to go and see what will be on display. Display. It's it's an exhibition of toothpick and broomstick constructions. Yes, seriously. Toothpick and broomstick constructions. I think he originally started as an assignment that Uluamoda gave his students. And we all know that Ulua Moda is like one of the best visual artists Nigeria has to offer. So um, his Yabatek students will be exhibiting their works at the Osh Gallery from this Saturday the 27th till October 4th. And um, as exhibitions go, Hybrid Theory is still on at Signature Beyond Gallery. It's um, an exhibition of works by Uthman Wahab and one of our artists. And they're quite interesting pieces. You should stop by and see if there's, you know, anything that you like and you want to own. So that's going on. From the 28th, that Sunday, there will be an exhibition of Judge Oshudi's photography at Reno on Adetokumba Adimola in Victoria Island. His photographs are... <sighs> anyway, go there and judge for yourself. And the Korea Book Trek is happening on Sunday. Every year, Korea holds the Lagos Book and Art Festival. This year's festival is in November, but before then, the Korea Book Trek has Tom Powell, he's a Scottish poet and lyricist, and Damia Jai in conversation. There will also be performances by other Nigerian poets and writers, and there'll be wine and food. So, stop by at the British Council Garden on Sunday. Also on Sunday, Kule Afalayon's October 1 will be premiering at Echo Hotel. Now, details are on the site so you can um, figure out how to get your tickets. Everybody I know who has seen this movie raves about it. I cannot wait to see it. If I don't catch it at the premiere at Echo Hotel, then I'll definitely be seeing it at Light Camera Africa, which I talked about last week, the film festival which will start in some days. Actually, I think it has started. It starts on the 25th, yeah. Okay, so, um, oh, speaking of October 1, by the way, we all know that that's our Independence Day, Happy Independence Day in advance. Um, Morimi will be on stage at National Theatre. Now, most of us know the traditional Morimi story, right? But this is Morimi with a twist. This is Morimi revised standard version. It's written by Ayodele Arigbabu, directed by Shegmo Adefila, and performed by Crown Troop of Africa. I've been watching Crown Troop perform for years, and those guys are always mind-blowing. They're fresh, they're really good thespians, and you should go to National Theatre on October 1 to see Morimi. It will also be on for two other dates in October anyway, so if you can't catch it on October 1, you should, you know, go on any of the other two dates. Uh, Tickets are 1,000 naira for adults and 500 naira for children. So, that's it. Several events over the next few days. Check rtliving.com for more. 
besides events there's also news about opportunities for artists um yeah there are quite a few and you should check the website for all of that and more